Hey, what's going on, nation? I'm Scott from MuscularStrength.com, and today I want to share with you guys one tip to help you increase your grip strength across all the exercises that you're currently doing in the gym, and you're going to be able to do it without having to add other exercises to your routine, like wrist curls or a specific day where you're training forearms and grip strength, because in my opinion, that's a waste of time, and I don't want you guys wasting time or gains when you're in the gym. But before we get started, be sure to click that notification bell so you never miss a new video upload from me. All right, guys, so I got a barbell here on the ground. I'm going to use this for all my demonstrations, but just keep in mind that this is going to be applied to any exercise where you need grip strength. And the exercise I'm going to choose to show this to you is going to be a barbell bent over row. When you do an exercise like a barbell bent over row, whether you're doing an underhand grip like this or an overhand grip like that, there will come a point in time where you're lifting so much weight that you're not able to complete all your repetitions and the barbell falls out of your hands. Now, what do most people do right away when that barbell starts to slip? Well, they go over, they grab their wrist straps, and then it's game over. And why do I say game over? Because most people instinctively, as soon as their grip strength gives out, they just switch to wrist straps and then they use them every single time they go to the gym and it becomes a very bad habit where you're no longer gripping the bar as hot as you can. Now, am I against using wrist straps? No, but there is a proper way to use them. But before you guys even get to the point to where you're gonna use wrist straps, what I want you to do first, especially if you're trying to work on your grip strength, is I want you guys to chalk up. This is chalk, all right, it's white, and it goes on your hands. Pretty obvious, right? But you know, sometimes people mess that up. <laughs> but anyways, Come over here real quick. A little chalk goes a long way. I know a lot of gyms don't allow chalk in, but you can be sneaky with it, and if you use it right, you really don't need that much. A tiny bit of chalk on your hands when you reach down and grab that barbell makes a huge difference because a lot of the times, the reason why that barbell slips out of your hands isn't because your grip strength is weak, it's because the gnarling is worn down on the barbell, or maybe the gym's humid and it's a little slipperier than normal. There's a bunch of different factors that come into play, but if you get a little chalk on your hands, you're gonna have a much tighter grip and probably be able to handle more weight. But once the chalk doesn't really help you out anymore because the weight is getting too heavy, this is your next step. So let's say you're on your, your second set of the exercise. So at this point, you know, your muscles are getting worked, but your grip strength is starting to give out. And let's say you're trying to do eight repetitions, all right? And by the time you get to repetition four, that bar slips out of your hands. At that point, you're going to put your wrist straps on, all right? And you're going to put them on, and you're going to complete those last four repetitions with the help of your wrist straps to hold that barbell. And then this is what you're going to do, and this is where the big change is going to come. Most people, as soon as they put those on, then they start using them for every single repetition. What I want you guys to do is keep them on your hands, but don't use them until you absolutely need them. So when you go into set three, you're gonna get in there, you're gonna grab that barbell, you're gonna have your wrist straps on still, but not on the barbell. You're still relying on your own grip strength, and you're gonna complete as many reps as you can, and then once again, as soon as that bar slips out of your hands, then you're gonna come in, wrap them up and complete your set. And then you're gonna apply this to every single exercise that you're doing in the gym. You're gonna use your grip strength, your own power, as much as possible, and you can have the straps on your wrist, but you will only apply them to the exercise that you're doing when your grip strength gives out on every single set. So don't fall into the habit of set one, you're cool, halfway through set two, your grip strength gives out, you use your straps, but then at the start of every set after that, you go right to these guys. Only use them when you need them. So if this video helps you out, be sure to go down to that comment section below and let me know if I kind of opened your mind a bit to how you can train your forearms without having to add a specific day just to train forearms. Like I said, it's a waste of time. And if you guys do this, in a matter of weeks, your grip strength will go through the roof and you'll be you'll be pretty happy. You won't even need these wrist straps half the time. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See ya.